what I was going to say, did you see Camden Yards the other day? Like a packed house. Bump packed. They're five games over. Team, that team, if that team makes the playoffs, I'd be, everyone would be an Orioles fan. I think Adley Rushman leads all catchers in war already. Just by 22 having- doubles. Oh, yeah. He's insane. Insane. I uh, have to say, I we played them for that one game in Baltimore whenever we played them, right before we went to um, New York, which was in June. June? Middle of June. I said then, I said, this is it's a good lineup. <laughs> the lineup will sneak up on you. You got a good bullpen. Team can play a little bit. But they traded, they traded two of their best players. What else did they trade besides Mancini? Pablo Their Lopez. Closer. Uh, oh yeah. Who throws a hunch? I don't. I don't. Like I guess in theory you could re-sign them after and just kind of get prospects back or whatever for them, but who knows? If the uh, Orioles were in the AL Central, no offense to your division, Zach, they'd be only a half game out of first place. Yeah, dude, and and right, and they're playing the hardest division in the world, and like just getting. I mean, not beat up because you're not getting beat up, but like you got to play those teams. Yeah, like you got to play <clears throat> the Yankees, or I mean, even the Red Sox are in last place, and that's not a bad baseball team. Right, it's not a good team on paper. It's kind of crazy to think the Red Sox yeah. are in last place. It's who would have purchased, Who would have purchased that at the beginning of the year? Especially when Story signed there late, because he was late. He was. Late. He was really late, wasn't he? Yeah. Before. We get back into things. Let's talk about athletic greens. Okay. Let's talk about how much Dakota loves athletic greens. Talk a little bit about the Cubbies coaches right now. Okay. Cubbies coaches are having a little bit of a competition, a little bit of a weight loss competition. There's some muscle mass gains, some fat loss, little combo piece, big money on the line. And you know what? I'm going to feed my guy athletic greens. I'm going to give him AG1 every day because he needs more energy. And he doesn't like taking pills and vitamins, but you know what he needs? He needs all of the good things that are in Athletic Greens, the 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole so- food-sourced superfoods, and probiotics Okay, to help start his day right. So I'm a big on Athletic Greens. Who's got stuff on Athletic Greens? Say something good about it. Go. Me and Zach took a cheers of Athletic Greens this past week when we were playing together. We met out on the field, and we cheers it. And then you chugged your athletic greens, didn't you? We were, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. We thought you know, it was more respectable to do athletic greens in parts they run before the game. So, <laughs> did True. you know that if you visit athleticgreens.com backslash compound, you get a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase? Did you know that? I did. Athletic greens, that's where it's at. Um, let's, we need to talk about something really quick. Okay. We need to talk about this golf that you're telling me about. Tell me there was a golf tournament this weekend. You're telling me the guy that won started with a quad on the first hole. So his name Tom's is gonna his, cut, Tom's going to cut all of this. His name is Ju Young Kim. He goes by Tom Kim because his favorite show growing up was Thomas the Train. <laughs> I love that. That's unbelievable. First hole of the tournament, the leader, the round one leader was already in the clubhouse at nine under, I believe. Tom Kim tees off quadruple on the first he is so you're telling thir- me he's 13 back going into the second hole. one hole into this tournament he is 13 strokes back of the leader he ends up shooting 24 under the rest of the way and wins the tournament at 20 under by like three strokes i guess he did it right like you'd rather blow up on the first hole rather than like on the back like on the back at some point Oh, a hundred percent. But like, just imagine like you go out no. there and it's your first no. hole and you quad and you're like, that's it. I'm done for, I'm done. Maybe for the you freed him up. Maybe you freed him up. So you just go out there and do it. He's 20 years old too. That's insane. Wow. Good for that. dude. Old. Can I talk about something about golf? That's cool for me. Yes. I got invited. Um, my good friend, John Lester set me up and I got invited to play in the diamond resorts classic in orlando this january uh it's kind of like the at&t pro-am of the lpga so it's an lpga event where you play four days 
alongside the LPGA pros, uh, and you play a legitimate four day event, uh, and there's a purse for the celebs. I'm guess I guess I'm technically a celeb or the amps, but wow, pretty cool. You are a celeb. You're an all star. What all-star. do you mean? You're basically a, you're an MLB all star. You are a celeb. Yeah, but I'm not John Lester. Did you walk on that red That's carpet, fair. Mr. Celebrity? That's, that is you fair. You're not John Lester. I'll give you that. Okay. I see where you're coming from. Yeah, but it's uh yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm excited. So that's cool golf news for me. I texted my good friends at Bentonardi today and trying to get my wedges dialed for a little bit of work on getting everything locked in for the event. So really when's this event? That. January. January. Oh, okay. Oh, you got plenty of time. I got time. I got then. time. I got time. Okay. I was going to say, you can't just roll in there in like October after no, playing no. rarely. You're going to look like a bum. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I got to get locked. So a lot of, well, maybe we'll get some updates throughout the off season about how, how dialed my game's going. Are you going to low key? Like you're going to go low. Like you might mess around and win that thing. Uh, yeah. I might mess around. I'm like, do you think anyone else out there is better? Like no, as there's, a celebrity? Some, there's some good players. There's some good players. Marty fish, Smoltz. Uh, yeah, Marty Fish has played on the tour, actually. Never mind. You can't beat him. Come on, man. I'm just saying. I mean, you're a good golfer, but Zach's Positivity, man. Zach's Come on. already better than you as it is. Maybe Zach should play. Jeez. Dakota sold you out so quick. He went from your winning to he yeah. heard Marty Fish, and it was all over. When we well, I want to fire done. up the rivalry of Zach and Ian golfing because I need a serious There is match. no rivalry. It's because I'm trying to make it fun. one because Zach's better, and I want to prove it. When we logged on to this Zoom, Dakota wanted to be my caddy for this event. Now he's shitting on me. And that's why, because you said I couldn't be. So easy choice. Now I'm going to turn on you. Fair enough. I don't blame you. Do you think Zach would have you? Do you think Zach would have you as his caddy? Ian, listen to this. He definitely wouldn't listen to this. After the game on Sunday, I come oh. back out to the field, being the good friend I am, to wait for number six to walk to the clubhouse. We chat for a little bit. He goes, all right, man, see ya, and just tries to walk away. I said, not going to hug it up. Forced a hug on him. I had to force a hug on him. He gave me a one-arm. I two-armed him. I looked like a freaking idiot. Two-arm and a one-arm. This guy hates hugs, huh? Hates hugs. And he tried to say I was making fun of him because did. he broke and three bats in two days. And I no, go, why do you still have your broken bat? It was three bats in three days, A, B, I had my broken bat because I was looking for a kid to give it to, but none of them none of them asked politely. You're not a good guy. You wouldn't actually do that. That is Three. fair. If they, don't, if they don't say please, I wouldn't give it to me. They got to teach them manners. Thank you. Three, I didn't think we were done talking. JY said he was leaving, and then I gave him a hug, and then you just assumed that we were done. And I was like, oh, okay. That's so – that's not true. This guy always has you. You wanted nothing to do with me. All you were doing was sitting there saying how much you stunk and how hot you were, and you just wanted to go inside. So I was like, I'll let you go inside. No, it's true. That's how it went. You know what? I got a better hug from his teammate, Ryan Kreidler. He dapped me up at least. Unbelievable. His teammates like me more than he does. Are we done here? Sad to see. Girl, it's just sad. It's kind of, it just it gave me flashbacks PTSD to when we left the compound and he didn't want to hug us. I have two things and it's about numbers. Zach, were you wearing eight at one point? No. Always six. Come on, man. Okay, my bad. Scott went S E five nine, got yep. Z S five nine. Scott, in honor of Zach, went S E five nine with the Yanks. Yep. Is there a fifty nine on the Cubs? I don't think so. What did you say? I said, I said, is there a 59 on the Cubs? Because I texted in our group text and I said, if I get to Chicago, I'm going to be number 59. Like it's 100% guarantee. I'm going to text Danny the minute I get called up. If I get called up and say, I want 59. If I don't, if I can't have it, I'm staying in Iowa. That seems ultimatum. like that's, that's yep, an ultimatum. That's an ultimatum. Seems like an easy demand. Yep. Down for that. Cause I support my guys. And your mustache is coming too. Oh, a hundred percent. I got. It. I'm gonna clean shave it tomorrow. The chin's starting to grow a little bit. I'm gonna have to clean that up tomorrow. New series. Uh, bad news. It says right now Michael Rucker has 59 for the. Oh, game. I'll fucking I'll I'll fight Rucker for it. Rucker would give it to me in a heartbeat. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. No, Rucker. you can. Yeah, we'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. We'll pay him. We'll give him something. I mean, I don't think I'd pay him. I don't. I don't make very much. 
I'll take care of them. I'll take care right, of them. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Ian. Can I have eight? <laughs> you know what? No, absolutely not. But McKinstry. You pay yourself for eight? McKinstry yeah. wore eight with the Dodgers, and I saw all of his bat decals, and they were eight. And I did, I, I asked him, I was like, you've been wearing that your whole life? Like I, And he said, no, he's kind of bounced around, but uh, he did wear eight in the minor leagues and then the big leagues with the Dodgers. And so I Why, are you not committed to eight? No, I'm 100% committed to eight, but oh. I've never had so something, I've never had someone rub it in his over face? having worn eight before. Yeah, I thought you were saying you were going to like give it to him like, no. yeah, man, like I don't care, I'll be any, I'll be any number, it doesn't matter, no, I still absolutely. rake. Did you Absolutely did not. you consider it all even if you got traded like the Yankees have eight retired? What would you have the Yankees have eight retired twice, I believe? The Yankees, Yankees have, have like four numbers possible retired. numbers. There's no numbers would be number... left over there. No, I know, yeah. but had you considered even if you hadn't gone to the Yankees and eight was taken, what what would your backup be? Ian had, would have had to been like 83. That would have been his number with the Yankees. It's the only available number. Yeah, I uh I had thought about it. I had thought about if if I ended up somewhere else and eight was retired, what I would end up being. Um yeah, I wore I wore 15 once upon a time i wore one in high school i wore five in college those are kind of possible possible numbers i've thrown out there but yeah it's tough what one five is retired a lot of places one's retired uh once in a while 15s sometimes usually taken so it was going to be it was going to be tough to find a number elsewhere zach you'd be four right yeah zs4 Zach, I was thinking tonight, is 59 because you were born in 95 and you flipped it? No, I didn't pick no. that shit. <laughs> it was spring training number, and they said, here you go, kid. I, I, I tried to give him a good, good story. That's a good no. story. No stories. Hey, I'll tell you this much. When I was on the taxi squad last year, if I would have got activated, my number was 89. So would have been kind of fire, kind of a sick number, DM89. Just saying. 89? That's could, awful. Could have played a tight great too. number, Tom. Shows you're character. a wide receiver, maybe. It shows character. It shows I grind. I don't get those low numbers. I don't want them. <laughs> Is there anything else we should touch on before we give the people screen time? Feel the dreams game, marquee matchup of the week. I can't wait to talk about it. I'm excited for it. I am actually happy I can watch it. We have a day game that day. I'm actually excited to be able to watch it because then I can hear you talk and make fun of the things you say on the next podcast. Well, yeah, I'm going to plug the podcast. It's going to be great. Are you a Field of Dreams fan? I'm sure you'll be asked this before. Yeah, yeah, I've been asked that a lot. You know, can I be honest with it about it? On I won't be honest on any other platform, but I'll be honest on our podcast here. It's never been my favorite baseball movie. I agree. Me neither. I'm a big Costner fan. Huge. Love Costner. Love for the love of the game. For the love of the game, so great. It's my favorite baseball movie. Big Costner fan. If Costner's there, I'll be pumped. Do I love the movie Field of Dreams? Mm. But I but I do think the cool thing about Field of Dreams, as it relates to baseball, is that the family like baseball is passed down generation to generation. There's some really cool memories and bonds, and you know, there's a there's a reason that all of us love this game, and that part of the movie is really cool. But is that my favorite yeah. baseball movie? This is the only place I'm going to say that. Every other interview you hear me say, I'll say, big fan, love it. But uh, yeah, I actually I thought about watching the movie um, just, just to prepare fresh, yourself. Just a fresh up. Before um, Ian, question for you: um, How many family tickets do you get for that two. game? Two. I will uh, not be making only... the trip. I was just curious if you would have left me one had I wanted to go. I would leave you one if you wanted to go. The way that it works is there's, I think there's only 8,000 tickets for the game. Oh, yeah. So you have to put your tickets in very far in advance. And I think each ticket's like 450 bucks. And players, players get what? charged. Players get, yeah, you got to pay for those. You know, so you're no, telling people, hey, you're not allowed to come. Sorry. There's no allotment for that. I just, I like, I don't know how you get in and out of there. That's. It's got to be mayhem trying to drive in and out of there. Yeah, where do you fly in? Do you fly into Des Moines and then drive over? Or what's the no, you just fly, you, you land in a cornfield. Yankees yeah. last year flew to Des Moines and then drove. It's like an hour from there, I believe. You're yes. going to be in Des Moines. That's how we're going to do it, too. I'm just wondering how. You're going to fly into Des Moines, practice at Principal Park, scrimmage against us, go play Field of Dreams game. Sounds like we a do plan. Have, we, do have, we do have an off day in Cincy on my birthday. Ooh, that's big time. Trying to set up golf. Yeah. When's his birthday, Zach? I know it. Do you know it? 
I don't. August 24th. This is how you know Zach's a terrible host because we literally talked about this last week on the episode and Ian said the answer. Bro, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, Tom. I know the answer. What What is is it, Tom? August 12th. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Okay, and what's 24 divided by 2? Let's do it's 12. It's a good piece. So got a point. To Thank you. <laughs> 613 is my Sloan screen time. Sloan screen time bought you by Sloan. If you need automatic flushers and Dakota doesn't want to get poo on his hands. Where do you go, Dakota? Sloan, because they got the automatic ones. You stick your hand underneath and the water comes running yep. out. You got to touch the poop handles. Yep. No poop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Five, five hours, five minutes for me. Tough day. Ooh, 613. How you had an off day? Oh, you're golfing. Yeah, I use 18 birdies on the course. Tom. It takes up some screen time. Seven hours, 33 minutes. Oh, that's not bad though. You were you, you were in a busy day. Busy day. I want to see you with the 10 plus, Tom. That's uh, our Sloan screen time for the week. When was the last time you had a Sloan flusher in front of you? Who are you asking? All of you. I think I think last the ones I wear Sloan. The our bathrooms here. So before we started recording. Yeah, Let's go. I had I had one in front of me about an hour ago. All right, that's episode one twenty one of the Compound Podcast, presented by Parse Rum. I love Parse. You love Parse. When I say Parse, you say Rum. 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 Um, we'll see you next week. We'll talk about Field of Dreams and um, my birthday. Okay, see you.